Good morning, Cohort A and Cohort B families. Uh, I know today's a holiday and no school, uh, but I still thought there might be questions that needed answering, so I wanted to get this to you today on Monday. Uh, I did it a little later in case you get to sleep in. Um, and yeah, so there's no Zooms for your kids today. It's a day off. You already know that. Um, so by now, you've probably heard uh, uh, the s'more that came out from Mr. Lynch details how we're coming back to school face to face. It's really exciting. I'm glad we get to do it. And, and I just want to assure you, we're still going to be safe, still maintain social distancing and masking because of the way the schedule works. Uh, so we're going to get through this just fine. Remember, quick reminder, click on your kid if you haven't already, because I took me a while to get uh, their their eggs updated. But uh, hopefully you see some of these greens, you are getting some of your science work done or participating so you can celebrate with your kid and tell them good job keeping up with your science work. Uh, if they still have assignments that are due, you can make sure they know what it is by messaging me. And if you see a red, this is a great uh, thing to get you started conversation with your kids. Say, hey, what's wrong? How can I help? How can your teacher help? Because maybe they're not reaching out to me. They feel more comfortable asking you. And then you can tell me, my kid says, uh, this assignment is, is confusing. And then I can figure out ways to help, especially Thursday when we're back at school together. So I just wanted you to know that was done and ready. So if, if your child's in cohort A, uh, notice they're going to be going to school from 845 in the morning to 1115 in the morning. We're going to send kids home with a lunch and a breakfast, but here's where it gets difficult and, and you can help your kid. I know if it were me, I'd come home and I want to eat it because it's food. Uh, but the breakfast is for the next morning because there's going to be no eating at school. So especially this Thursday when your child comes into school at 845 cohort A, they need to have breakfast at home because we will have no food for them. Um, and then the lunch, okay, so they go home Thursday, eat their lunch, save their breakfast for Friday, and then Friday they have their breakfast, come to school, and get uh, their lunch, their sack lunch that Friday. So we will give kids their sack lunches and breakfast every day uh, at the end of their day, which probably is close to 11. So by the time they get on the bus, they'll have it. Now, cohort B, you're going to want to eat lunch. Thursday. So when you come to school at one o'clock, uh, you're not hungry. They will get at the end of the day, around 315 probably, their lunch and breakfast, but it's both for the next day. So if they come home and eat it, you'll have to provide them uh, a lunch for the next day. But they should take it home and they've got breakfast and lunch for the next day. So when they come at one on Friday, uh, they're not hungry. And pick up you know, or leaving school on the bus is at 325. So that's what the schedule looks like. This week, of course, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, so no Zooms, no school. Tuesday, it's going to look like last week. We'll have our 845 Zoom, so make sure your kids are up tomorrow. Because that's uh, their last chance to ask us questions. And if you have questions, tell them to ask us on that day, or you can just message me. Uh, so we're going from 8.45 to 9.15 with the three teachers. Then at 1.30, we'll have the three teachers where we can do a little science, a little ELA, social studies, and a little math just to get them uh, ready for Wednesday. Wednesday, they're working at home all day, office hours with Ms. Berg and Mr. Brennan, and check in with me on Classcraft, and I can schedule a, a meeting with them uh, if they need it. Uh, usually... They ask me questions on Classcraft, I respond, and they're good to go. They've been doing really well that way. Uh, but speaking of, of assignments, these are the three that they really need to get done by the end of the semester. Sooner if possible, some kids are already done. Because these are the three that they have to complete if they want to get a score of a three or a four. Remember, a score of three is what you want to see. That means they're at standard for sixth grade, which is great. For kids who uh, go above and beyond that, kids who are like ready to teach it to their peers because they understand the concept so well, that's how they get a four. 
Okay, so don't think of a four as an A. Think of a three as an A and a four as a kid who's just above that, uh, above grade level. And if your kid gets a one or a two, that just means they they're, didn't quite get it, or for a lot of kids, means they didn't even do the work. So I don't know how much they know. Even if they do a bunch of the practice work, I get a glimpse. So that can get them up to a two because it gives me an idea. Uh, but this, these three are the ones where they really show me if they can do it. Now, some of your kids have been doing all my fun, optional, extra work before the required work. So if they're telling you they're doing a lot of work, they are, but it's not the required work, which is why you might still see they're missing three assignments. Uh, and in that case, if you see a one or a two on report card, even though your kid's been working a lot, that's why, because they're not getting the required work done. And it's just not showing me how they understand the concepts uh, that we've been working on. So they can work on that Tuesday and Wednesday. Then Thursday, we're back at school. And I just showed you the schedule. Now here's a cool thing for cohort A. They come home, 1.30, they've got math with Mr. Brennan. So their 1.30 Zoom time every day still happening. This time, even Wednesdays, okay? Cohort B kids. We need them to get up just to have a full school day. We don't want them to get up at noon, go to school at 1, and think they're done with just a couple of hours of work. That's not enough school. So they get to go to 845 for math with Mr. Brennan every day, including Wednesdays. This is going to be great. Ms. Berg and I will still get them started on the math um, to give them some time to work on it and ask us questions, but they will see Mr. Brennan every day. Whereas with Ms. Berg and myself, they only see us every other day because they will be like, for example, Thursday, I will see um, A1 or A2. I'll see A2 Thursday. So A2 kids come to me Thursday and I'll see them from this time to this time and then they go home. I'll see B2 kids from 1 to 325 and then they go home. A1 and B1 will be with Miss Berg. So then Friday, I see A1 from 8.45 to 11.15, and B1 from 1 to 3.25. So they're only going to see us every other day. Friday, we're going to split it up so they see both me and Miss Berg for half the time, uh, still in their time slots. So we get them ready for the next week. It'll be kind of a close up the week, debrief all that good stuff. So that's what it's looking like. I hope this answers your questions. I hope you're ready to send your kids. I know I'm ready to see them. And hopefully we'll get back to some fish trapping and doing some more uh, outdoor uh, science. Um, but yeah, a lot of the kids, I need to catch them up because they didn't get much done at home. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Have a great rest of your Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I'll see your kids Thursday and Friday.